Hi, Reese here with Adore Her Beauty, and I'm back. And of course, you may have already seen this video, but you have not watched it with my commentary. And so that is what we're going to get into on today. So this is my beautiful, sweet client. She's very soft-spoken, very quiet. She comes in, she doesn't really say much. She's a woman of few words, but I love the fact that she comes and this is her second visit. So she's already showing signs of loyalty and consistency and dedication. And she trusts me to be able to try and help her. Now, before I even get into the process of what is happening in this video, again, this video has already been uploaded with without music and then it was with music without music and then it's with music so it was a little issue with the audio and the sound but it should be rectified now i'm sorry that it's like three or four different songs or whatever but many have seen this video and many are chiming in on this video i just want to say um for the most part it's all love it's all you know empathetic comments is understanding comments is well wishes in the comments but then it's like always one or two that just don't even really mess with us like that when i say us i mean the wax tribe like you're not even a part of the wax tribe you probably just you know so happen to scroll by and see this video and then you just come in commenting on things that you have absolutely no idea about like i just cannot understand that for the life of me so you look at this woman you look at her skin and you literally just go to judging her pockets. You literally just go into judging what she can afford or what she can't afford or what where she should go, who she should see. And I just like, how do people draw those conclusions from a video of people that you do not even know? Do you know if this woman went to see a dermatologist? What if she saw 10 dermatologists? How can you know if I don't tell you or if she's not in the comments telling you? How can you draw that conclusion? And let's set the record straight. She has seen a dermatologist. Now, has she seen more than one? Even I don't know. But she came in with lots of medicine. I'm not telling you what it is. She came in with lots of creams and ointments. I'm not telling you what it is. If you know, you know. It's generally the same stuff they prescribe to everybody. And so she tried it for X amount of days. That's not none of your business either. And for some reason, for her, it didn't work for her. For her, she wanted to try a different approach. So please just watch the video. I mean, draw your conclusions. Have your opinions. But these are my actual clients these are not paid models these are not this is this is a real person that found me the same way that you're watching me they found me on youtube they found me on instagram they found me on tiktok and so if they had access to me to find me they have access to me to watch this and they're seeing your nasty comments so just like watch it shut up come in i always say to come in sit down shut up and watch it and then go along about your day. If you pray, say a prayer. If you don't, I mean, have your thoughts. I'm not telling you don't think what you think, but be mindful that these are actual humans with feelings and emotions and, and cognitive understanding to know the nastiness intent behind your words. Now, I probably didn't talk up half the video, but anyway, sorry for the rant again, but I just, I just don't understand the human race anymore. Like, it's just like, I don't get it. Where is empathy? Where is understanding? Where is love? Where is compassion? Where is concern? Where are these things? Like the, the sign of these things is just leaving the earth realm at such a fast rate. And it's so easy to judge when you know nothing other than what you're being shown. So you really cannot draw a definitive conclusion off a 10, 11 minute video. So please mind your words over here. We love over here. We show kindness over here. So anyway, I've already done like two cleanses. Uh, I didn't give her a full herstism treatment. Just kind of gave her a little uh, cleanse because my, my goal with this was just to, uh, again, to work on calming her skin. Now in the first video, in her first session, her skin was so, so, so inflamed. It was really hot to the touch. I used cool everything and it was literally cooking and warming everything up that I applied to her skin. So she didn't have that issue, you know, from the home care that I put her on until now for 30 days. She didn't have no issue. Like her skin was like normal temperature, regular body temperature. It was not hot. 
Um, she still did did have um some bacteria, like the little white pussy bump that you saw. She still had that, and I'm thinking it's mainly correlated to her work environment. She works, I'm not gonna say where, but after I asked her about her daily routine, it was determined that she's sweating all day. She's in the heat all day. So of course, sweat bacteria is all going to be on the surface of her skin and so what i advise her to do was to have some fragrance free wipes and cleanse on her breaks throughout the day so whenever she gets a chance she's sweaty wipe her skin with something fresh and um fragrance free and then follow it with her her uh, moisturizer that i gave her for home care so i'm gonna see if she just make that little slight adjustment will it help and also, um, I am going to reach out to her because we just booked another wax session, another wax and lower face session. But I really do want to start doing total facials with her. And so I'm even wanting to, once her skin calms down, move into chemical pills because there is a protocol from Skin Scripts that really work well with uh, level three and four acne. So I'm wanting to move her into that, but it may not be until the weather changes because normally I don't do chemical pills in the summer for obvious reasons. It's very hot. And then again, she works in a hot environment. So I may, may just have her on facials and helping to rebuild her skin barrier as we're doing and just building up the strength of her barrier. So when the winter comes and when the cooler months come, she can actually get a uh, start a chemical peel series it's a series it's actually a eight week series that i want to do with her and over the course of the eight weeks you will see a dramatic change so what i'm doing here right now is this is a sample of skin scripts light aloe moisturizer It's aloe is so healing it's so moisturizing and i am basically just bathing her skin in it i'm slathering it on and I'm going to go actually in and just kind of massage it real deep and push it into the skin. And then I'm going to make another layer of it on top of that just to kind of help feed her skin the hydration and the moisture that it needs. So there was also a comment that said, you know, her skin was still looking dry. And I agree. It still has some dryness, but it is literally nowhere where it was before um it didn't like have the flakiness but it's definitely and i'm showing you right here was the light aloe moisturizer but it didn't have the flakiness that it know that it had at first and also um it didn't absorb everything like because it was so dry in her first session and so thirsty and dehydrated that no matter what i put on her skin one it heated it up like i said and two it was absorbing it like a sponge so fast so you can even see in this part of the video that her skin still has that glazed look which means the product is kind of penetrating but it's also sitting on the skin which means it's not absorbing into the skin as fast so what that's telling me is that her home regimen once she is following it um, two, it is working and it's kind of helping to balance the hydration of her skin. Now, the progress is slight, but there is progress. The difference is minimum, but there is a difference between her first session and this current session. As you can see, like I said, I'm bathing her skin a little bit more in that moisturizer because this moisturizer has a lot of um, antibacterial property, anti-inflammation uh, properties. It's very hydrating. Of course, you know, aloe is healing, is soothing. And so this is the goal for right now. Like I know people are looking at her pigmentation. They're looking at the bumps. But right now, all she needs is healing, healing right now. That's all she needs. The pigment, we're going to work with that the 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 actual pimples they're going to self resolve as her skin is getting more into healing yes she may need to change her diet but can you just change your diet with the snap of a finger can you live honest be honest with yourself don't lie to me can you really just change your diet at the blink at the snap of a finger it takes 21 days to make a new habit i cannot expect her to put the sodas down or put the sugars down or put the dairy down or put the bread down you have to gradually everything is grace and progress everything is steps and progression you cannot just expect anyone to you yourself cannot just cold turkey it now you got to be a some some special 
some extraordinary to just cold turkey make a, a total about face and live your best life so you have to walk people through hold not so much as holding their hand but you're you're going with them in grace and I just wish more people understood that. That's why everybody is not meant to be an institution. Like a lot of people are getting in this field for the money and they want to charge all these crazy amounts and have all these fees. That's another conversation for another day. But to be in this field, it requires a gracious amount of empathy, care, and concern. Even if you're just doing a regular facial on somebody that has no skin problems, they just coming in for relaxation. There has to be something within you that is calming and, and energetic and peaceful and zen and serene to be able to infuse that into somebody's face or body. Too many people in this field for the wrong reasons. Too many people want to be doing this for the wrong purpose. You got to be purpose for this type of work. And again, I'm off on the rent. I'm sorry. But today is Saturday. I'm feeling good. God is good. And I bet you, you doing good too. And even if, even if you made the comments that I'm talking about, you good too. Just come over here. We welcome everybody. Everybody's welcome to join the Wax tribe. But we show love over here. We show kindness. So this is our end result. And I hope you enjoyed this chat. And I will talk to you next time. Bye.